Bing. This is the Shaper for Bing. Hey, Shaper for Bing. <laughs> Matt. Hey, Matt. Come on. Welcome to all these people I work with, Hap Jacobs and, you know, Velzi and Bing Copeland and... Um, Quite a so resume, it's, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's been really, I've been really fortunate to, yeah, to work with, like, the, the guys that started it all. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, with, it's just amazing, so... Um, but, yeah, it's like carrying on the names, just like Terry's doing with Hobie, you know, he continues yeah. on with that name, and then I'm doing the same thing with Bing, and I also I also make Jacobs, too. Well, like, so. this board here, we call it the, the Love Bird. It's the orange Chris, one here? Chris Del Moro is, like, one of my riders, and uh, it's kind of a board that we collaborated on. It's kind of a real unique, kind of a special design. It's got, like, a, a lot of V in the tail, and it's got a concave, kind of similar to the, to the Hobie, but a little l uh, less concave, but blended. It's a little thinner and narrower. So what and, does that uh, mean to like, you know, just a regular surface? Really, it's kind of like a high performance single fin. It's really, um, it's really versatile. Like it'll nose ride well, it'll turn well. Um, it's just like the all around easy board to ride. Great for beach breaks, great for Sano. Yeah, for like in a breaks. day like this, I mean, it's just kind of small. It's yeah, it, it'll ride today, it'll ride like three times bigger than this, five times bigger than this. It's just a great all around board. So it, the fin specially made for the board design, and the diamond tail um, makes it a little bit more smoother in the turns oh, really? rather than a square tail. Hmm. And um, yeah, can you tell us a little bit about the difference, like a round tail, diamond tail? And... Um, well, the round, round pin is a smoother turn. It's going to be it, with, on the slower waves. It's going to be not. It's not going to have as much float, and it's not going to catch waves as good. But when you're in a little bit more juice or a more powerful wave, it's going to turn a little smoother. Where a square tail has a tendency to turn uh, like sharper and catch waves better because the you know it has more oh, area push, in the back yeah. to push you know push yeah. you into the wave. And um, so you know, and then the diamond tail is just like right in between. Yeah, it's kind of so, good. Happy medium. It's a happy speak. medium. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it looks cool. It looks. The way name cool. sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. This board has like a little bit more edge. You know, so it, it kind of more progressive, you know, almost like a trifin, but I don't particularly, um, we didn't want to make it a trifin, we wanted to make it kind of a more as high As far as the, the rails you're talking? As far as yeah, the... just like it's soft here and then it goes to a harder rail here, so it, when you go to push in the tail, it really kind of squirts and turns oh, really nice. quick. So, and then the board beside, it's like kind of shaped a lot more like the um, Hobie, it's more softer rail, traditional board, more of a nose rider. A little cruiser? It's a cruiser, yeah. Oh, cool. It likes more, like, you know, trim. It yeah. likes, uh... Now, what makes it that? Just the weight of it? They're just softer yeah, rails? Yeah, it's heavier. It's, it's glass with 10 ounce. This is glass with 6 ounce glass. So there's, like, a, you know, a huge difference in weight. You know, this probably weighs 20, 20 pounds, and that probably weighs 20... Seven twenty-eight pounds. And what model is that one? There? That is kind of a new model I've been experimenting with, and it's kind of something that it's got a step deck. Um, oh, which? Oh, describe that. Like the Herbie, the oh, here, let me see. hold it up like that. See if we can. You can kind of see how it steps out right here. It's scooped out. Yeah. Oh, and nice. then the end of the tail. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Flips up too. Yeah. So it's really designed for nose riding, and so you got a thicker paddling area here under your chest. But then it's thinner, and you have a lot of control on the nose. So does that actually flex when you're? Yeah, it flexes because I put a small uh, stringer in there, so it it's, it it flexes quite a bit because it's it's pretty thin up in the nose. Yeah, you know, it's like three and an eighth in the center, but up there it's really thin. So yeah, it's I kind see. of a new experimental model. Oh. And I, what I like to keep in mind is um, making a board for like you know just everyday surfer for everyday conditions you know not like uh, I don't do ads in the magazines and stuff like that I kind of really make boards that are practical every day even my short boards are like thicker and wider and they're like fishes or quads or single fins they're kind of alternative people call them retro but really what they I don't call it retro I just call it functional you know it's yeah. like it's it's the right board for the person if they've been long boarding for 20 years and they want to ride a shorter board they need to do transition down so they might I might get them on like a double wing quad like seven six or something and then once they get used to that they'll they can go down and down smaller so it's a matter of like getting a practical quiver and yeah. then having different boards for different conditions yeah. not every board you can't have one board for every day yeah. and that's what's cool about today is, is everything's accepted you know you can ride you know long boards and short boards and it's it's okay
it used to not be too cool to yeah you, you know you got stand-ups now and it's like uh it's just it's wide open and it's all great you know it's all fun and uh i just love making it it's a good time to be a shaper it's you know you can innovate and try new designs and experiment yeah. so i'm having more fun than i ever have and i've been shaping for 23 years i started off with it was just short boards that were shaping and then in the early 90s I started working for Hap Jacobs and slowly the longboard thing started catching on and you know and then it got more traditional and it's, it's evolved and it's gotten the boards have gotten easier to ride and more functional and uh, you know there's in my quiver of boards that I make there's a there's, there's a board for somebody that I make yeah it just depends where you're where you're at in your surfing where you want to go in your surfing you know where you've been in your surfing if yeah. you know been a shortboard and you want a longboard I'm not going to put you on a big heavy log I'm going to put you on something that's easier transition so that's really important as a shaper to you know be able to dial people in to what they really need yeah you know and that goes to the consumer as well they kind of should know what they want so they can relate it to you the shaper right and then you can just I can pretty much find out what they need by just what they've been riding and how they want to surf and where they want to surf and you know it's like just by you know if they're in good shape or their age and stuff it all is a factor you know it's not just based on weight and age it's uh, more like the person's you know if they're aggressive they're going to want something more high performance if they're mellow kind of person they're going to want something more cruisy yeah so yeah. so i mean you basically have a quiver for just about everybody i mean i ride a different board almost every time i go surfing because <laughs> i want to you know feel what it feels like so i can educate my customers on what yeah. how this board works and what's best for them you know if they're yeah. surf, surfing sano you know, I can tell them what board they need based on their, their ability. Yeah, can so. email me or call me and, and I'll customize a board for them, what they, what they need, you know, what, exact, exactly what they need. And I think that translates to uh, catching more waves. Having more fun. Having more fun, riding better. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's not all the equipment all the time, but sometimes it could you could be on the wrong board, so to speak. Yeah. Know? Yeah, and, uh, and sometimes, you know, a board, some people are against long boards, and, you know, and they get something that's fun and that changes their attitude, and, it, and then all of a sudden, the two-foot days become fun. Yeah. You know, that's what, that's what surfing is all about, is having fun. Yeah. It's just getting on the right board for that day. That's yeah. really important to me.